TEDx. I'm here to talk about a thing that up to 71% of alcoholics, a quarter of drug abusers, and 45% of the prison population have in common. In a woman, this thing is associated with increased eating disorders, obesity, higher divorce rate, sevenfold increase in unplanned pregnancies, and a doubling in the likelihood that she will take her own life. This thing affects nine million adults in the US alone, 85% of whom don't know it. This thing's responsible for billions in increased medical and justice system costs, billions more in reduced business productivity, and untold personal misery every single day. This thing is ADHD in adults, attention deficit disorder. I realize that that term often conjures up the image of the out-of-control kid bouncing off the walls, or maybe the over-medication of kids. But this is a whole different world. The world of undiagnosed ADHD in adults is indeed, for many, uh, the nightmare that I've described. And my mission is to help the 9 million, including the 85%, to live to their potential. Now, why is this my cause? Well, I'm the same guy as hundreds of thousands of nonviolent criminals who are stuck in our prison system. The same guy as somebody who right now is out unwittingly self-medicating with drugs and booze, a woman who sits depressed with suicidal thoughts. See, I have this thing, but before I was aware of this thing, on more occasions than I could possibly recount here, I came within one inch of being among the very worst off. One inch opening in a closing elevator door in a Harlem tenement, the height of the crack epidemic, my buddy gets his foot in there and he says, hey, Al, you know, we're about to get killed. One inch of slack from the cop who knew I was dealing drugs and knew I was committing grand larceny. Maybe one more inch of uncut cocaine that I might have snorted delivering that fatal heart attack on any given day across years of abuse. I got lucky by an inch, but I also got aware, and here's why we should all care because some in the medical community maintain that this is a myth, because our prison system ignores this while other countries are screening for it and seeing reduced recidivism as a result, and because everyone in this room probably knows someone who's affected by adult ADHD and who, as a result, may not be living to his or her potential. So what can we do? Well, there's actually a few things. But for starters, go to this website take this self-diagnosis test, pass it along to someone you know who might benefit from it, post it to your Facebook network, tweet it out. At the break, talk about it with someone, talk about the issue with someone, just for a few seconds to get it on your brain. Come see me at the speaker's corner, and I'll give you a few more ideas. Help me make 2013 the year of the 85%. Thank you. <laughs>